Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Don Michael. For those of you who like my videos, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Today we're going to be talking about marriage and cheating and how marriages can survive cheating. And what are some of the factors that are involved? And obviously, if you've been in a situation where you've been cheated on or you've cheated, you know how that can affect all aspects of your life and, of course, all aspects of your relationship. Some marriages, however, do survive cheating, and there are some reasons why they do. And other marriages do not survive cheating. The first aspect to surviving um, a relationship where someone has cheated is that the person who cheated in the relationship is no longer involved with that person that they cheated with. This is the very first step to trying to heal the relationship, um, for the couple to get back together, to work on some of the problems which led to the cheating, is that the other person can no longer be around in their life. It has to be over and done with. Uh, that's one of the main factors. If that continues to happen, then the marriage is not going to survive the cheating. So once that's taken place, that person is no longer around, then the couple needs to talk about how it got to the point that the other person cheated in the marriage. And if you really think about it, cheating is an act of uh, having a sexual relationship. So if it's just a matter of a one-time cheat, that the person got turned on, was in a position, made a mistake, and had sex with somebody, most of the time the couple can move beyond this. They can talk about it. The person who cheated regrets the situation and wants to work on the marriage and make it better. So that would be cheating, which just literally involves a sexual aspect of it. And many times marriages can survive that because a person has made a mistake, they feel awful about it, and it's not something that they're going to do again. And so the relationship needs to build back the trust, the communication, and the understanding that it was a mistake. If the cheating is something that's been going on for a while, which now it's not just the sexual part of it, but when you're having a person who is with the same person for a period of time, that is an emotional connection that they're having with the person that they were cheating with. And that is something that is on a deeper level. And so the couple really needs to talk about why uh, the person who cheated needed to have that other relationship. What is it that they felt was missing in their life? What led up to that relationship? And how do they repair their marriage and move forward and um, bring that closeness back with each other so that they both f feel fulfilled and satisfied, as well as working on the trust because there is going to be some trust issues. But the person who is allowing the cheater back into their lives, they also need to learn how to trust them again. And that takes time. But that's also something that if you're going to have a relationship with them, um, you can't keep bringing up the cheating and throwing it back in their face. You have to be able to work through it and try to work on some of the reasons why it happened to begin with. And this is how you begin to heal from it. And hopefully you'll go into some type of therapy because usually that's needed to go see a couples therapist to kind of work through some of the problems that led up to the cheating. Again, the person who cheated takes responsibility. That's an important part too for what led them to cheat in the first place. They're honest about it, they're open about it, and they're willing to work on the relationship. If that doesn't happen, they don't own up to it, they don't explain why it happened, then most likely the marriage is not going to be repaired because the person didn't take responsibility for their part in it. 
And I understand that marriage takes two to tango and oftentimes somebody will cheat because they're not dealing with something in their marriage and they're finding that it's easier to go outside the marriage to get their needs fulfilled, whether it be sexual, whether it be emotional, or whether it be both. But the fact is, is that they need to own up to that and they need to see if they can work through that in the marriage so that the couple can start over again in many ways, working on their marriage, working on their communication so that um, they don't end up in that situation again. Then there's the person that um, cheats randomly, uh, so they more, more so have a sexual cheating where it's different partners, different places. Uh, it's basically sexual rather than emotional. And this can be a real issue too because why are they going outside the marriage to have sex with somebody else? Is it because they're not having any physical contact with their spouse? Um, is it that they're not having sex? It's maybe a sexless marriage. Um, perhaps there's some issues with desire in the relationship. Um, there's fighting, there's tension. Why is the person going outside the marriage to be fulfilled sexually? And again, that is um, owning up to why the person cheated to begin with, what led them to cheating, what aspects of the marriage do they need to work on, how is the trust going to be built again. And this one is a little bit more difficult with the trust issue because it's a continued habit going outside the marriage, cheating with several partners. The other aspect of that is they're also um, putting their spouse at risk for getting some type of disease if it's unprotected sex. And so there's uh, multiple, multiple problems. Obviously that can happen with the other two scenarios as well. But the more partners that a person has, the more chances they are of uh, getting some type of venereal disease. Um, you know, there's also AIDS. I mean, there's STDs. So we're talking also about health risk with that. And so the person would need to go and have a full physical, both in the party, the husband and the wife, whoever is the one that was cheating. So that also needs to be remedied as well as seeking therapy to figure out why the person needed to go out and have several different sexual partners. Uh, sometimes the person who's doing the cheating, there could be a deeper issue and it might not even have to do with the relationship itself. Maybe they have some sexual issues that they're not dealing with and they need to get into individual therapy as well as some type of couples therapy so that they can uh, get both parts of their life working and get the marriage back on track. So those are three different scenarios of cheating in a relationship. And I've also given you the outcomes that can happen where there can be a positive outcome where the couple learns how to work through the problem. And sometimes when couples do learn how to work through the problem, they can even strengthen their relationship if they put the time, the commitment into it, as well as take the responsibility for why the cheating happened to begin with. And then there's the other scenario where sometimes um, the couple can't work through it. The wounds are too deep. The person's not taking responsibility. Maybe they're still seeing the person and not being truthful. So it really is um, dependent on how the couple operates, how they communicate, and their desire to still be in the relationship and maintain a marriage. And you know, stuff does happen in life and if a couple can really work through the commitment and be honest and open with each other, uh, the chances are good that the relationship can be repaired and it's not a hopeless situation. I know at first sometimes it feels like it's a hopeless situation and uh, getting counseling for it right away, not letting it fester, not, you know, wiping it under the carpet, or even overreacting to it 
can also help save the marriage um, in the beginning. Because emotions um, are painful, and if you feel that someone has deceived you, that is very hurtful. It also makes you question the entire marriage and certain aspects of the marriage. If the person ever really loved you, you know, why would they do that? And so there's a lot of raw emotion that can happen when a person finds out about the cheating. There's different stages that a person will go through. There's denial, there's anger, there's grieving. So all of that takes time and the two of you are committed to work, it, uh, you know, work past all those things, then again, a marriage can heal and people can, can get past the cheating. So if you're someone that's been through this and you wanna leave a comment, um, it is helpful for other people that may be in the midst of it. And again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as you know, I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life. And so do you.